All right, I'm Daniel with Powell Machine Incorporated, and today we're going to do a video on installing our bronze trunnion kit. Um, when you receive it, you'll get a set of bushings, you'll get some assembly lube, snap rings, the trunnions themselves, and you will get a sticker. So hang loose, we'll get set up here and we're gonna go through uh, assembling one right quick. All right, so you, I mean, I'm using a machinist vise, but you can use a bench vise, you can use a arbor press, you can use a hydraulic press, but that there, there's just not much press fit on the bush and it's only about a thousandth press fit. So you, <clears throat> it doesn't take a bunch of effort to put the bushings in. One critical thing is, and, and, and I mean, you can do it. You don't need no fancy installation tools. I mean, you can do it with a socket. I mean, it, it doesn't, it doesn't take anything super extraordinary. Um, you know, the biggest deal is make sure that you lubricate the bearing really good. I just put some, uh, assembly lube right on one side. We assemble one bushing, then we'll install one snap ring. And then we will lubricate the other side of the trunnion. And ideally, I mean, I'm just doing one for the video, but ideally you would lay everything out, go ahead and um, pre-lube all the trunnions, you know, and have the whole system laid out so you, you know, you're ready to be remotely productive if it matters to you. If you'll notice the rocker, it's got a nice pad on one side and it doesn't have it on the other. So I always use this pad to set my socket. So that's what we're pressing off of. <clears throat> Same deal when you push them apart. And Andrew had already tore these down, but taking them apart is even easier than putting them together. I mean, literally you just set it up on a socket and, and you can take another small socket and just knock the guts out and, it, and it'll just all fall out but the little needle bearings will go everywhere. So, you know, do it in a little pan or something or do it in a place where you can clean it up easy if that, if that matters to you. All right, so we'll go in from, I'm sorry, we'll go in from the side without the pads. And then I just take my bushing, set it on the inside. And so now we can press both bushings at one time. So we'll get our socket and then we'll just set it. We'll just set it up in the vise, get the socket relatively centered. And then just snug it up and then keep, keep an eye out. You don't want the you don't want that bushing to come beyond the body of the rocker. So, you know, just sneak up on it. Yep, so that's about dead flush right there. And then this side is almost flush also. So when you get to that point, then you can go ahead and put the second snap ring on. And the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that you've got some in play. You don't want both bushings crammed up against the body of the trunnion. And uh, I mean, literally that's, that's all there is to it. But the biggest thing is just make sure that it's well lubricated and it's got free play and it feels good, nothing's in a bind. I mean, sometimes anything can happen. You can 
start a bush and crooked or maybe it you know i have seen once or twice uh some of the rocker bodies that were a little small and, and it would try to gall the bushing on the way in and make them a little tight but as long as it's nice and free and you've got in play that's a su successful installation and uh always check your tips and your push rod cups because we see them more often and you don't want to build a wall out set of rockers. But that is how to install our trunnion kits. Um, they're on the website. Uh, you can see the part number right here. Uh, they're on our website. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and hopefully that was helpful. Thank you, see you on the next one.